four technical universities are on a mission. Students and professors are studying, working, contributing to make the energy transition possible. This is their story. Decarbonizing our power system requires a lot of dramatic changes. We are replacing fossil generation with solar and wind. We need smart charging, intelligent heat pumps, storage. And that's all fine, but the dirty little secret of all these new elements is that they are all connected with something called power electronic converters. And they are, unfortunately, a threat to the stability of the power system. In the past, the power system was a heavy, stable truck. Huh? Dirty, but stable. In the future, it will be a Segway. It needs all kinds of sophisticated controls to be stable. So we work on the electricity network on the roof of your house, in your house, in your street, in your neighborhood. And in that part of the network, a lot of things are going to change. That's where solar panels will, uh, will, become, will come up in massive amounts. That's where electrical vehicles need to be connected to the electricity network. And our main challenge is to prepare this part of the network for these future renewable developments. If you use these devices without any control, then a lot of strange things may happen. These devices may lead to large peaks in the consumption of energy, in the form of electric vehicles or heat pumps, but also if we have PV panels or windmills, they can also lead to huge peaks in the production. And if we do this in an uncontrolled, uncoordinated way, our electricity grid is not able to handle all these peaks and we will get blackouts. The digital twin basically consists of two parts. The first one is the hardware. It's lots of uh, noisy boxes uh, with powerful computer hardware inside. And the second element is the models. Yeah? We have to describe the power system as it is, or as it should be, or as it will be. Uh, that takes a while, which requires experts to do it. And then we can make experiments, yeah? experiments that would not be possible in reality. Too expensive, too dangerous. Yeah? The lights would go out for half of the people. <laughs> but in the digital twin, we can cause faults, disasters, experiments uh, that give us the insight uh, into the dynamics of the power system that is now not available. At the University of Twente we focus on decentralized energy management and this means that we start really at the bottom part of electricity grid at the houses. We make a digital twin of these houses where we take into account all relevant elements like heat pumps, electric vehicles and other steerable devices of a house. Based on these digital twins of our houses, we see how flexible these houses can be used and how these houses can be coordinated on the next level of the distribution grid. For instance, in a microgrid concept where fluctuating renewables and smart charging systems of electrical vehicles can work together in a harmonic way, controlled by digital decision making, for instance with algorithms, and facilitated by new electricity markets where consumers more trade electricity with each other, in the end can be a backbone for a sustainable society.